Hi guys, my name is Jat Gulib and today I'm going to explain you the GRA general test structure and our course structure for the GRA test. Well, uh, GRA consists of analytical writing, verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and there is uh, there is nothing else, uh, just the experimental section or verbal or math section. Okay. Uh, analytical writing consists of the issue task and the argument task. Each of these tasks um, are given uh, for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes for issue and 30 minutes for the argument task. You can skip. <coughs> you can skip. Sorry. You can skip this section if you want, um, because many universities don't require the analytical writing section. Uh, but there are some that require, let's say, PhD programs, um, top MBA programs, for example. Some universities in Belgium, in the Netherlands, and so on. <clears throat> uh, the verbal section consists of two sections uh, and uh, each section gives you 20, sec uh, 20 questions and uh, there are 30 minutes per section so normally you have one and one minute and 30 seconds for one question for math you have 20 questions per section and there are also two sections and you have around 35 minutes per section so it means that you have around one minute and 40 45 seconds for one question <clears throat> well uh, now uh, there is also one additional section at the end uh, let's say verbal or quant, quant sections um, it, it can be either of them <clears throat> and remember one thing if you have three verbal sections uh, so in total there are six sections one writing two verbal, two quant, and one experimental. If you have, let's say, three verbal sections, it means that one of them is experimental. And unfortunately, you don't know which of them is experimental. <clears throat> the, just the thing is that experimental section consists of strange questions and some a bit different questions, new questions, like model questions. And um, But unfortunately, you cannot say for 100% that it is... Um, the model, uh, the experimental section. Okay, uh, this is a drawback of the Jara test. And normally, uh, the test takes three hours and forty-five minutes if you take writing. If you don't take writing, it will it will be around three hours, like two hours and forty-five minutes. There is a ten-minute break after the third section, and normally it comes like this: section one, uh, writing, then verbal, then quant. Then again, verbal, then quant, and at the end, <coughs> either verbal or quant. Okay. Uh, sometimes it starts like this: quant, verbal, quant, verbal, and at the end, quant. Okay. Well, um, now let's turn to sections. Uh, so there are, uh, let's say, let's start for the from the analytical writing, and there is an issue task and the argument task. The issue task is similar to IELTS and TOEFL questions, uh, agree, disagree, right in writing task two. In TOEFL, there is also uh, independent writing, like agree, disagree questions. Uh, they give you the topic, and you need to write uh, the discuss to which you agree or disagree with the statement. Okay, and <coughs> um, this is the common uh, structure. So you basically show your agreement or disagreement with the topic. Okay. Uh, for the argument task, the case is different. It is similar to GMAT analytical writing assessment. And um, you, you have one topic and you <coughs> evaluate uh, the argument. Okay, uh, the argument given to you uh, by finding what can strengthen or weaken it, uh, finding its stated and unstated assumptions, uh, finding uh, let's say possible uh, alternatives to this, and so on. Um, so this is for writing, and each of them requires that you write it in, within 30 minutes, okay? <clears throat> the more you write, the better it is for you, of course, if you write logically, coherently, and cogently. Well, uh, for uh, now let's turn to verbal. <clears throat> verbal consists of reading, text completion, and sense influence questions. So basically reading consists of reading passages and critical reasoning questions. Uh, text completion and sentence equivalence questions are vocabulary questions, okay? So they assess the knowledge of your vocabulary and reading uh, assesses your knowledge of understanding, uh, the understanding of passages and the understanding of arguments and it's their critical evaluation, okay? <coughs> uh, 
uh, in the reading questions uh, there are uh, multiple choice questions like you choose one answer uh, you can have multiple choice questions where you choose two answers correct let's say there are three options and you choose two of them three of them uh, correct or at least one of them correct and selecting passage so you choose the line which shows let's say some position of someone or something like that so you just basically click on the line in the passage that you think is logical for this question okay so uh, let's say this is a short passage and <clears throat> uh, you can see the question question one uh, it's a multiple choice question you choose only one correct answer so you see select only one answer choice it's written for you uh, but it's if it gives you the question and three alternatives uh, there may be one or more answers so it may be a maybe a or and b maybe a b c all so okay they are they may be all correct and they are of course based on the passage right and uh, in passage questions so uh, select the sentence that explains the, why the outcome of sequestration that might have been expected wouldn't occur so you choose the uh, which sentence is correct uh, this sentence is uh, let's say starting with but because of sequestration and so on so on so you click on the sentence uh, let's, and that's it um, for example click on it on the sentence and that's it you submit your answer <coughs> uh, sorry I guess the, this is in this passage uh, sorry you, you click on the sentence and that's it and uh, so again uh, multiple choice question with one answer uh, with two answers so ABC you choose let's say A and C for example and uh, in passage questions so it's a sentence that distinguishes the two ways of integrating rock and classical rock and classical music okay uh, now let's turn to text completion questions text completion questions may be uh, with one two and three blanks the problem of text completion questions is that uh, if there are three or two blanks and if you choose one of them correctly and the other one incorrectly the question itself is unfortunately considered incorrect okay so you need in order to uh, be counted as correct all answers should be chosen correct so here you see three gaps uh, for the gap one you choose out of this three for the gap or blank two you choose out of this three and for the uh, blank three you choose out of this three okay uh, uh, there uh, there are uh, around uh, several a number of questions that require three gaps uh, some questions require two gaps one and two for uh, here for blank one you choose out of this three and there's only one correct option for each of them okay so for example for blank one the correct answer is eminence and for blank two it's let's say uh, this answer okay <clears throat> um, I probably I guess you know what does it mean uh, well uh, tumult means chaos okay uh, and uh, here for example uh, you also choose out, uh, one for this and one for this okay and uh, there may be one blank and five answers in this case you choose one correct as well okay for one blank they generally give five answers because if they give you three answers the probability answered correctly is uh, higher it's like 20 percent uh, 33 percent like one third uh, but if they provide you with five answers uh, the probability that you answer it correctly and you'll do it um, let's say <clears throat> uh, you'll do it um, not deliberately uh, is uh, of course lower uh, these are uh, text completion questions okay um, and let's turn to sentence equals questions so there uh, in this question in, in these questions you are provided with six options Th there's only one gap and there are six options and you you see they are they are writing select the two answer choices it, they always underline this so uh, when we have six options we choose two correct answers for the gap you see here there was one gap and five options you choose only one correct but in sentence equivalence you always choose two correct and normally sentence completion uh, sentence equivalence questions are given at the end of the set uh, while text completion questions are given in the beginning of the set okay here you choose two answers that are synonymic uh, and uh, or uh, just suitable for the gap okay uh, well normally <clears throat> uh, 
uh, when the reading set starts, uh, you have, um, let's say, six or seven questions uh, that are text completion ones. Then there are five, six questions uh, that are reading comprehension. Then uh, five, six questions sentence completion. And at the end, there are one or two questions uh, for uh, critical reasoning, like strengthening or weakening something, assessing some uh, argument, and so on. Okay. Uh, well, and now let's turn to quant. Uh, in quant, you see four question types. Uh, quantitative comparisons, multiple choice select one option, multiple choice select more, one or more answer choices, and numeric entry, like questions that require your entry. There are, there are no options. Well, uh, first of all, comparison, quantum comparison questions. Uh, you see quantity A and quantity B. You are given some information. Let's say X is more than zero and choose which one is more, quantity A or quantity B. There are four options always. Uh, quantity A is greater if you choose A, quantity A is greater. If you choose B, quantity B is greater. If you choose C, they are equal. Quantity D, the relationship cannot be identified, okay? Well, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, it is very important to be careful in these questions because uh, in the uh, there are around seven or eight questions for quantum comparisons in the set, uh, and first questions are easier, uh, then questions become a bit harder. Uh, but the the ben benefit of Jari is that you can uh, go back and forth. Uh, well, it's it's great because you can switch. From one question to another, it is not possible, for example, on the GMAT test, but it's possible on the GRAT test. Um, multiple choice questions, uh, where you normally have some question with five answers and you choose only one correct. Uh, there are questions uh, with uh, charts, graph, and so on. Uh, multiple choice questions that select uh, one or more are required that you select one or more answer choices. Uh, for example, they give the task and say indicate all amounts or all that apply. So you may choose A, B, C, D, for example, A and D, A, B, D, A, D, E, and so on. They may be one correct as well, but normally they are at least two correct answers. <coughs> you say indicate all such statements. There are three statements and you choose which of them is correct. Numeric entry questions, uh, they give you the task and they require that you write it manually. Uh, if you write like a fraction, uh, you can write like uh, 2.5. It says how to write it. For example, give your answer as a fraction or give your answer, uh, it, it gives you like this. Or uh, write, uh, let's say, to the, um, let's say, uh, write like this, like uh, show the decimal representation of the answer. So it means that 2.5, 2.50, okay, are all correct. Uh, and at the end of the question, uh, at the end of the set, uh, there are data interpretation questions. Uh, they give you some charts, graphs, and you evaluate the normal. There are multiple choice questions. Sometimes they are data, uh, data entry questions, okay? Well, charts like this, and you assess information. So that's why it's very important to focus on such charts before your exam. By the way, they can also be given on the GMAT test as well. So just for you to know. But for GRA, you will always have four or five questions regarding one chart, okay? <clears throat> Normally, uh, there are around six questions that quantitative comparison questions, four or five multiple choice questions with one answer, four, uh, question, uh, three, four questions, uh, rarely four, two, three questions with several answers, uh, one, two questions with uh, uh, numeric entry ones. And at the end of the set, of every set, they will give you around four to five questions um, assessing the graph, the chart, let's say two charts, okay? And four or five questions regarding this chart. So that's why it's very important to analyze this chart very carefully. That's it for GRA, uh, GRA structure. And let me um, tell you about our structure. So uh, there's a general class that we have. Uh, we'll focus on verbal and quant strategies. Uh, there is a reading class. Uh, we'll focus on reading and critical reasoning topics. Uh, there's a vocabulary class uh, where we focus on vocabulary topics. Let's say sentence completion, 
uh, text equals and com uh, computation questions and math class where we focus on the quant okay oops sorry and okay uh, now uh, i will tell you about exams sorry something happened with my word um uh well we have exams uh in three test centers in azerbaijan um they are dim uh TGDK or sac ssac student commission uh we have exams in baku engineering university BMU, and we have in, uh, exams at uh, grbs uh, i personally recommend that you take uh, your exam at dim uh, te uh, te uh, or BMO or BU Baku Engineering University. <clears throat> you, you also have the option of taking an online test and in order to register um, you need to enter this website ets.org slash GRA. Okay uh, this is the uh, place where you can register for exams and do it as soon as possible um, because it's very important to plan your time. Plan for two three months ahead okay and make sure to inform me before taking the exam i will give you proper navigation directions and so on um so it's very important to consider which format is suitable for you because um test center exams aren't so frequent they are like twice or maximum three times a month uh, in the best way in the best scenario but uh, online exams can be done on a daily basis and timing can be chosen by you. The only thing is that you need to have good internet connection, stable, or you need to have a LAN cable linked to your Wi-Fi modem. <clears throat> That's it uh, for GRA and hope that I've explained everything that you might have in your brain. Thank you and good luck.